know this isn't my regular voice. <laughs> I told Ashley this morning when she asked me if I'd say a few words, I said I could have a coughing fit in the middle of it, and I'll just do a signal and somebody else can come in. <laughs> um, but uh, when Ashley asked me if I'd say a few words, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't even with an hesitation for me, because it's easy to talk about these two. Uh, when I was uh, over at AGS, when we were at the Old Colony campus, I had the pleasure and privilege of being supervisor of Sheila and Dan. And uh, I really mean that it was a pleasure and a privilege uh, to be able to work with two such committed people. Uh, for Dan, I would say one of the things that came through consistently, uh, Dan, was your commitment to the students and also your advocacy for them. Uh, I know that the students understood you and saw you that way. And perhaps most of all was your pastoral presence for them and also in the office. Um, many was the time when I would hear from my office again say to a student who had called, let me pray for you for a moment. Um, and I know students grew to appreciate that very much. So your commitment to ENC and to your students and uh, your advocacy for them as well as your pastoral presence. I also just want to say at one point during my tenure at AGS, uh, Dan had become ill and had to have surgery. And he returned to the office sooner than most people would have. And I know it's because of your commitment to our students, always wanting to be there for them and really help them realize their dreams of an education. Uh, for Sheila, when I went over to AGS and uh, was beginning to understand who was working there and who was who, uh, one day I was reviewing Sheila's file and happened to notice on her resume that she has a master's degree in journalism. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hmm, I like her on my team. <laughs> so, when it uh, became available for Sheila, to, or a position became available, I uh, asked Sheila if she'd like to become one of the uh, academic advisors. And for me, personally, it was uh, one of the better moments of my time there to add Sheila to that team. Sheila also demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to her students and an advocacy for them. Both of them did that. For Sheila, at that time, uh, we had a site in Boston at the Dimmick Center. And those students who went to their evening classes there couldn't really come out to Quincy. Uh, they worked all day and then they went right to the Dimmick Center. Some of them even worked there and they took their classes. So for them to meet with an academic advisor wasn't always that easy. But what you would find is several times a week, Sheila would be riding the train, going into the Dimmick Center, sitting down with them before they had class, waiting until they were done after class, waiting until their break time. And that was Sheila, uh, making the extra effort to again help her students realize their dream of an education. I personally benefited from Sheila's presence at AGS in this way. To say that during those days, AGS was stressful or complicated <laughs> would be an understatement. <laughs> We had a lot of work to do in those days that wasn't always very fun. Uh, it caused me, I do not handle stress very well. And I would have a meeting with Dan and Sheila and with the other people that I was supervising. And I would go in and I'd be all tense and I'd have my notebook and in would walk Sheila. Those of you who know Sheila know, she brings with her a calmness. She would sit down and begin to speak in her normal voice, which was very calm. And I would go, <laughs> she really brings with her a presence of calmness and confidence and quietness that uh, changes a room. And so for you, Sheila, I just want to thank you for your commitment to our, our students, uh, your above and beyond riding those trains to visit them, and for your bringing your calmness into a time that was very turbulent. Uh, it was my pleasure to supervise both of you. And to have you in the meetings, um, always offering your calmness and your pastoral presence at that time. So thank you so much, both of you. And um, I continue to pray for you as you 
Um, go on to your next adventures. Thank you. Thank you.